What's up, guys? Welcome back to the show, and thank you for tuning in. The place is an absolute mess, but I don't care, because last time on the show, I promised that we would be playing Dead Cells next, and that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. This is an excellent game, especially if you like retro games. It's pixelated graphics, it's platforming, it's procedurally generated levels, it's hack and slash, lots of exploration, different abilities that you could gain, and items that you can um, pick up to help you along your way. However, when you die, you lose everything and you essentially have to start all over. But the more and more you play and die, the more and more you learn, the further and further you can get. Have I gotten very far? No, but that doesn't mean I don't love this game. It used to be my favorite game on the PS4, and it's probably up there, either one or two. I recently discovered Horizon Zero Dawn, and I'm like 25 hours into that one, and it's taking over my life. That's a good game. This one is more of the retro variety, so I think you're really going to enjoy it. Let's check it out. Alright guys, here we go. I'm probably only going to play 5, maybe 10 minutes of this at most to give you a taste of this game. Uh, we're going to... I could continue, but I just want to see if I could start over. Because I want to show you this from the start if I can. You will keep all your progress. Oh, well... Okay, I guess the best we can do... I'm not going to erase all the data on my PS4. We'll start from the beginning, and I don't know, I guess I have some level of progress with items. Who cares? All right, you could already see some pixelated graphics going on. Of course, we still have to deal with uh, the modern problems of load times, but hopefully it's not too bad. All right, so I'm a blob of goo that is possessing a body. Okay, here we go. You could automatically see in the lower left corner, I've got some options. Uh, L1 is my healing potion. I got my square is my main primary weapon there. This stuff all means something that I forgot. <laughs> this guy keeps track of your deaths. Dead again? Okay. Open the door and we're presented with our initial options of your secondary. Do you want a weapon or do you want a shield? I go with the bow. I like the bow. So now triangle's my bow. Okay, open. That door is locked. Now these teleports, uh, you'll see... Hold on, how do I get to the teleport? I'll show you what the teleports do later on. They are exactly how they sound. I uh, love the music in this game. It's upbeat. It's got good tempo. It keeps you going. And like I said, every time you play this game, the path is different. Uh, we could just hold down square, or we can use our bow. I'll show you the bow after I get this guy. Gotta get behind him. If I can. There we go. Let's go up. Here's the bow. So you could just hold down either triangle or square. You don't have to, like, mash. Okay, so teleports. Teleports work by, you know, if you come across a teleport, exactly how it sounds. You could warp to anything that you've come across in the past. Here's a treasure. What do we have here? Ooh, a trap. Looks like I have another weapon. Let's see how it works. Look at that, I could throw traps and they regenerate after looks like 12 seconds. Another weapon, okay. Oh, how do I get up there? Double jump? Yep. Okay. 
Gameplay is smooth, the controls, I mean... Uh, the sound effects... What's this? Fire spinning blades. Okay, I guess I'll take that. Let's see how that works. Hold on. Take this guy out. Uh, L2. Whoa, look at that. It's like a sentry gun. That's neat. Awesome. So, kind of similar to Metroid. In a way, you've got this map. Shows you where you've been and where you haven't been. And obviously, like I said before, it's different every time. Look at that. We can uh, duck. We can duck and spin Metroid style. Keep that guy busy. Okay, what do we have here? Toxic sewers. Passage to the toxic sewers. Even heroes need rest sometimes. Current time, it keeps track of your time. I guess you get bonuses or you're able to unlock certain areas if you get from one area to another in a certain amount of time. Uh, I'm usually not good enough to do that. What is going on? I'm falling. Ouch. Ah, see, this is what I mean. So, I probably can't open these. Yes. Okay, so I didn't satisfy the conditions to open these bonus areas. Ah. Okay, this is a merchant. I'm not going to waste your time with that. Normally I would... Please do not break that door. <laughs> Let's break it anyway. Ah, I love it. Okay, there's, there's stuff, there's these mutations, there's extra options. Oh, it won't open until you've chosen your mutations. Gosh, okay, here we go. You get the idea. You can customize your player as you go. I don't want to waste a lot of time for that. With that, I just want to show you more gameplay. I want to get to more gameplay. So we move on to the second area. You could really speed through this and get bonuses. You could take your time and really customize your character the way you want. I'm trying to give you a broad taste of this game to see what's in store so here we go i guess i'm in the toxic sewers now hey you come here a second all right a little slow but you seem to understand what i'm saying i lost ru i mean my ruin so you see, I'm a little stuck. I need my rune, you see. You wouldn't mind finding it for me, would you? All right, we give him the thumbs up. Ho ho, thank you. It's somewhere around here in these sewers, on your side of these bars. Bring it back to me, quick. All right, whatever, pal. We'll try not to dip too much into the toxic sewage. Ah, okay, I think I got to drop down here. Oh boy. Where do I go from here? I'm almost dead. Ah, there's something to jump on there. Ah, okay. Up, up, up. Let's use our potion. Heal a bit. Ouch. 
Let's bring some traps. Oh no, I'm dead. Body desecrated. You lost 12 cells. Well, I guess you get to see what happens now. Let's check it out. We start at the start. There we go. Does that look familiar? So there you go. Like I said, you start over, you lose some progress, but the more and more you play, the more and more you understand it, you know to be careful. Uh, it's addicting, despite the fact that it can be frustrating that you lose progress. You get right back to where you were, essentially, within a couple minutes. You could see from one area to the next, like I said, two, three minutes. Every time it's going to be a different path, you're going to get different pickups. The game, despite uh, making you start over, it it's finds a way to, to uh, stay interesting. Um, and I love that about this game. And I'm not going to waste any more of your time. I appreciate you tuning in and checking out Dead Cells with me. Lots more to come. Take care.